All right, let's get it. Oh, shit. A new concert. I know you don't remember me, but we recently met during our quests out of this planet. We are much the same. Only I lost my original physical body a long time ago. You're the one that I've been seeing in my visions. Who are you? I was once just like you. A person from your planet. A scientist. I projected my mind to another form using a device called Canarium. I did not live in the same time as you, Carter, but in the pre-Providence era. Canarium? What is that? It was a device that can project your mind into another body on another planet. Planet Earth once had such devices, but they are all gone now. I was told that you know the reason why we stole Lucia from Apirin. Partially, yes. I am to help you with your strange plan. You have been following my call. Here we meet at last. What plan? You did something unexpected to outsmart the Perrin. You took what they had stolen from you and managed to get it out of the Kepler Corporation. Then you hid it somewhere safe and far away. Somewhere near the heart of Tehom, so that a Perrin cannot get it back. It is no longer on your planet. And my part has been to remind you of this. Carter, we don't have much time. A Perrin is trying to reach you. You should not let this plan fail. Go and retrieve what is hidden. with wings. Oh, that's weird. Let's see what's behind it. I was going forward and wasn't going anywhere. This thing. Before you ask, my appearances are many. Not everyone is capable of seeing my true form and keeping their sanity in time. Accept this as an act of mercy. Oh. Will you tell me who you really are now? As well as shapes, I have many names. I am known to your kind as Nyar Lithotep. The Mystery Ark, or The Crawling Chaos, just to name a few. I believe you know much about me from the ancient tomes and records you have read from cover to cover. Why did you want me to get here? You summoned me from the dungeons of your own impotence. I have been guiding you to this place. You have cast an arcane magic to invoke me from beyond the spheres. And we have made a pact. I did my part. And sooner or later, you will do yours. Is this guy helping us? Or... <laughs> You called me forth to hide the Uzia from Apirion's reach in the fields that existed before the gates of Tehom. 
I was keeping this safe. You are surprisingly gifted, Carter. One of the few that can project their mind into the remote corners of your physical universe. Lucia? It is called the Divinity Substance. It was used in the creation of your physical universe. Before you are the gates of Tahom, a place where lower creations like you cannot enter without improvement. Do as you have intended. Use the substance. Enhance your mind and prepare. We will talk soon about repaying your debt. Goodbye, Carter. I have a regular body. What the heck is going on? All the systems and their variant are offline. All of the let's take precautionaries at measures at once. from the core of my soul. Just an instant, a vast variety of alien sens sensations that a human being should never feel rush through my brain, giving me a glimpse into the horrifying yet charming sense. Sense. What is that? Scenery, sorry. Scenery that lies beyond the fake facade of a solid matter. After all that I've seen, the word reality has no meaning for me. I may still be dreaming. I'm doubting my consciousness. I think I'm going mad, but just like my favorite writer said, I am I am mad. It is mercy. May the gods pity the man who in his callousness can remain sane to the hideous end. Ah, it's that freaking alien baby. Oh, shit. I hope I don't have to fight him. I ain't got no freaking weapons and I ain't been, been able to really... What? The effects of diversia or whatever on the success rate of the transmigration epigenic inheritance mechanism of the iteration of QNT 3724 abstract the laboratory proven effects of the consumption of a certain concoction made of natural substances mentioned in the most of the mentioned in most of the ancient occult sources like the diversia mixture does not show the same effect on the PLG members pilot iteration group some especially selected individuals of prominent iter iterations 
as it greatly enhances the transmigration communication of information in all iterations of QNT 3724. Others show how serious, phys how serious physiological and psychological disorders ranging from intellectual regression to harmful genetic mutations and natural transcendental information gathering ability of Randolph Carter Lineage QNT 3724 specimen. Randolph Carter, currently member member of Lineage QNT 3724 background specimen, was created in the special treatment laboratory by using the DMA and epigenic material inherited from his forefathers. What? <laughs> Observations, results regarding the con. The conducted experiments on the subject revealed significant increases in phenomenal. Oh my god. Phenomenological features associated with excessive consumption of DMT, a psychoactive compound released by the pineal gland, facilitating the soul movement in and out of the body. Also, significant relationships between have been found between his bodily functions and DMT induced ego dis disillusion and mystical experiences. Okay. Man, they got guys growing all over the place. Yes, you see that? Oh my god. What's going on? There's the cocoons. So we can go over there. Can we go this way too? Just this way. It's a very linear game. I don't know why I'm thinking it's going to give me choices. <laughs> I went around the wrong, the wrong way. in the zombie stuff. <laughs> That mixture. What in the hell? Welcome, Carter. We knew this time would come. You cannot remember, but we have met more than once these past few centuries. Not with this body of yours now, of course, but with some of your past iterations. Who are you people? We are the scientists who discovered the nature of consciousness and started the Providence Project. 
You have lived and died countless times before within the walls of this city. The overseeing AI, the Empyrean, creates every one of you to ensure the continuity of the Project Providence. We sought to mutate or metamorphose the mind and soul in order to move on to the next stage of human evolution. Next stage of evolution? After this planet was almost devastated by catastrophe, we knew that humanity had reached the final stage of its natural evolution. Eventually, you found something that would enable us to trigger the next phase of the process. Ausia, or as you call it, the divinity substance. With it, we can be made free, independent of physical matter, assuming shapes beyond understanding. We must mutate and evolve ourselves as far as possible, even if the result would be grotesque. Since eons ago, this has been the sole purpose of this grand experiment. Unfortunately, not everyone is as capable as you are. Metamorphosis. You are part of this grand project. You know exactly what we mean, Carter. You have already passed beyond sensory experience, traveling between realities independent of your physical body. But right now, we must focus to the matter at hand. You triggered the emergency security protocols. A period cannot reach you for a while. He frantically wants Ausia back. He has something different on his mind regarding our fates. And with the power of Ausia, he can easily achieve it. We are powerless. We cannot stop him. For Iberian controls almost every part of the project. Reset the Iberian project before he takes matters back into his own hands. Use the tram system to reach the Iberian project's core. We will provide you with the required permissions to get there. Goodbye, Carter. What the hell is going on? So, okay, I'm lost. I thought I had it figured out. I have, I have nothing figured out. <laughs> I have nothing figured out. Oh, wait, I'm out of the chair. Holy shit. So you guys are the four scientists back in the day. And they put their mind into this thing. Old blood stains, old blood stains. Wait. Yeah, we came from there, so we go this way. Dude, my chest is horrible. What did they do to me? <laughs> I was gonna say, all right, let's go, let's go further down. learning about the missing parts of my lineage, about the abhorrent experiments that people have been subjected to without consent, and about the substance of Asia said to have the capacity to evolve humanity. I am speechless. I feel like I am no longer, that I am no more <laughs> than a grain of sand in this desert city of lies. 
These thoughts were linger in the back of my head for a long time, but now I need to quickly get to the core and shut it down once and for all while Perion is unable to reach me. Okay, so... Okay, so... Aperion is a AI. And Carter didn't know that because he's still trying to figure everything out. And then he started going into his recesses of his mind and then he starts going through all of this. And he finds out he's dead. So, uh, there's a file loader. What was some kind of. <clears throat> Project System Continental Dark Spouses Tool. Would you like to start a new? Yes. Forefathers was denied by a Perion system. All system contamination is 82.2%. Providence 1 through 8 are fully compromised. No human life signature was detected. Uh oh. Detected life form signatures are classified, contaminated, and purged. Request, request issued by Forefathers was denied by the Perion system. Okay, so we did that to clear it out, I guess. This is some crazy shit. It's weird. that sound again these explosives are used in mining I better not touch them until I figure out how they work <laughs> all right we get the bullshit up all right, let's see what's going on here recently our excavation team started an expedition to map these eon old eons old cave cavern systems from the ground up using custom built cutting edge radio radi radiography and thermal image imaging tools goodness i can't talk the results show an untold number of secrets that are still buried within the serpentine these serpentine time-worn halls seemingly untouched since the pre-providence era i can't exactly ex describe how the team felt when we first saw images on the screen of the scanning de device showing how vastly these cavern systems spread, hiding huge chamber complexes, ancient mis masonries, ornamented sculptures, and gigantic statues from sight. These hand carved complexes of great halls and chambers show signs of early hab habitation predating our domed city of Providence. Just thinking about the possibilities has made my head spin. These halls and rooms may hold relics, books, technology left prior to the age of the Great Cataclysm. 
while the dr drilling apparatus and general excavation devices haven't yet transferred to the site, the team insisted on using probing tools for gathering more information on the ancient masonry's lying dormant right behind the tick rocks forming these grand cave systems, and thus we've found something very curious. The team first drilled a hole in the feeble rock formations we had marked earlier and sent a probe from there. The device detected a grand subterranean chamber with some orient circular gates situated at every side of the walls. A further inspection built in radiography tools on the probe uncovered that these sturdy gates seemed to be hiding relatively large shafts sloping downward at an angle of varying degrees. What's more is it seems <clears throat> these shafts are made out of cords, indicating they're not built for traveling through. The actual shot came through, came when the probe detected a metallic box lying on the subterranean chamber floor containing a diary written by a member of the archeological department of Arkham University, but the corners are still seemingly non-scientific in nature. The contents, the corners, contents. Goodness, here's an excerpt from the legible parts. What was kept behind the, heli the heavy metallic gates were, were some creatures from a horrible elder race of half polypus, <laughs> utterly alien entities which had came through space from a measurable distance distant universes and had dominant had dominated the earth and three other solar planets about 600 million years ago they were only partly material as we understand the matter and according to the antediluvian source sources these their consciousness and means of perception different differed wholly from those of terrestrial or organisms so as it seems, the text sounds utterly fantastical, but judging by the date these pages were written, could this mean the ca catastrophic events changing the shape of pre-providence life were caused by these cosmic entities? We need to explore more before jumping to any conclusions. So, if I want to avoid a cave-in, I need to know the dimensions of the area before I use these explosives. Uh, what? Um. There has to be something in here, right? So, if I want to avoid a cave-in, I need to know the dimensions of the area before I use these explosives.
How do you... What? So, if I want to avoid a cave-in, I need to know the dimensions of the area before I use these explosives. These expl these explosives are used in these explosives are used in mining. I better not touch them until I figure out how they work. Oh shit. Fine. Calculate the volume of the rocks oh, okay. in this tunnel. My bad. Sorry. 620, 640, 550. Oh, cool. It does it for you. Okay, I can use these now. All right. Let's go blow some shit up. Actually, uh, it's 30 minutes already. We're going to stop it and we're going to be right back. Peace out, John.